Phobias can be absolutely devastating for people. Fear of flying, fear of elevators, these are things that can alter the way people lead their daily lives. I'm Dr. John LaPook. Welcome to CBSDoc.com. Today, we're going to explore phobias and their treatment with New York City clinical psychologist Robert Reiner. What are the most common phobias? Well, the most common ones that we see by far are fear of flying and public speaking phobia. What happens physiologically when somebody gets scared? The fight or flight response gets activated. Blood pressure goes up, heart rate goes up, hands get cold, and you sweat. Typically, when people are exposed to a phobic situation, what they're nervous about, they get anxious when they experience it, whether it's in virtual reality, thinking about it, or real reality. Now, we want to teach them, in counter conditioning, the opposite. We want to substitute the fear response for a relaxation response. That's the cure right there. Let's talk about what you specifically do for people who have phobias. We tend to use what's called an exposure model, which means teach the person very gradually to experience what they're anxious about. We combine exposure, which by itself is not enough, people are too scared, with a biofeedback condition called respiratory sinus arrhythmia. In plain English, that means belly breathing. It basically disables the fight or flight response. So you can't get nervous. It's an amazing thing. Right here, right here. all movement is in the right hand. In my case, with two huh. hands here, right? But right. go ahead. <laughs> this has to be still. Belly, watch this. It's six breaths a minute, five seconds in, five seconds out, which is a very unnatural way to breathe. We don't expect people to do it all day long. They would pass out. But you do it about 20 minutes a day, and it has a very healthy effect. The whole treatment takes 12 to 14 weeks. That's it. You're done. And what's your success rate? 92%. Out of how many patients? Thousands. Basically, if you go through this treatment, it's almost impossible not to get better. It's straight counter conditioning. And, you know, there's nothing to do with intelligence. We bypass that area of the brain entirely. That's why it's ridiculous to do talk therapy for this stuff. Because it's way, way beyond that, much more primitive. The brain says, if I'm acting protectively or scared, something must be wrong, and it remembers it. So these white knuckle flyers don't get better because they act frightened. Now, I'll say to people, imagine you're an actor. Someone's filming you, and you're a non-phobic, relaxed person. You'd be a total phony, it doesn't matter. But just do it, and that's helpful. What's the coolest part of your job? As a psychologist, I never thought I'd use the word cure dealing with patients. Well, in this case, we could flat out say we cured people, and quickly, too.